And welcome back. Well, buying a new home will probably be the biggest purchase of your life, so you're going to want to be prepared. Yeah, Pat Corral from the Equitable Bank is here with the steps you need to take before you buy. Welcome back, Pat. Thank nice you. Again. You. Happy holidays. Thank you. Same to you. You got the glitter going on <laughs> yeah, for the holidays. The I like that show. too, for sure. <laughs> um, let's walk through some of the steps that you say we need to take before we think about buying, whether it's our first home or we're, we're moving up or downsizing. You say it's important to strengthen your credit score. What, what's the best way to go about doing it? Because every, want, everybody wants a good credit score, sure. but we don't know, always know how to go about it. Well, you need to go in and talk to a loan officer or call a loan officer and get your credit report pulled. We can take a look at it and see what your scores are and make suggestions on how to improve it. You may not even know that you have some open collections or late pays and your credit score is what's going to drive your interest rate. So it's very important. And another thing that's new to um, mortgage lending or relatively new is credit vendors are now offering some services to help borrowers improve their scores. They can actually, um, they're called a credit analyzer and a what if simulator. Hmm. So if you have some high credit balance cards and you're not sure which card to pay off, that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck and increase your score, you can put it into the simulator and it'll tell you exactly how much getting rid of that card is gonna bring up your score. That's so it's cool. a great tool to have you know, that's available now through us. So That's really helpful because I feel is. like a lot of people just feel stuck. They yep. get their score and they're like, well, what do I do? Do I close a card? Do I open a new card? Do, what's the magic number? You know, and so right. being able to play with that prior to making a decision is, is very is helpful. Big. So then you can take the next three to six months yep. and plan which cards you can pay down. Perhaps you can close some cards cards, pay off some collections, and bring your scores up 30 to 60 to 90 points, which m will make a huge difference in your, your interest rate. That's great. You also say being pre-approved for a loan is the next step. It is. You definitely need to be pre-approved. Um, a realtor won't even work with you unless you're pre-approved because they don't know what you're qualified for. They don't want to waste the seller's time showing you a home that maybe you really can't afford to buy. And the seller really doesn't want you to come through their home unless they know that you're qualified to purchase just a home. Mm -hmm. So get pre-approved. The other thing you say is start saving. Yeah, that's big today. You know, years ago you could buy a house without saving any money. That's just not true anymore. The only program that's out there for no money down is a Fed VA. Um, the next program with the least amount of money down would be an FHA. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'd need three and a half percent down for that program. But unfortunately today the FHA program has such high premiums associated with it. Um, that it's not a really great option for a lot of people. So most people are going to go with the conventional 5% down. So they need to realize they have to have their down payment, money for their closing costs, money for their prepayables, and lenders now like to see that they have a two-month cushion left over. So when they get into that home mm. and all their money's gone, that they have two months left over in case something goes wrong. That's a lot of money to have, it you is. know, and that's and, why you have to be saving. But if you come in and we can discuss that and we can tell you, well, you know, how much money are you going to be able to save each month? So in six months to 12 months, you, you'll maybe have that down payment or you might have it already. So you just need to talk to a loan officer so that they can put that all together for you. Yeah. You also say to find a realtor. Crucial. Um, you need to work. It's really a team. Uh, the realtor, the loan officer, and the borrower. Um, we have many realtors in the area we can recommend to you. You can interview them, you can see if you like them, if you like the way they communicate, and if you do, you can choose that one. Mm -hmm. The same with a loan officer. You have to be able to work together. It's very important. You can't be expected to know everything about buying a home and getting a mortgage, but we're the professionals and we'll help you get there. Mm -hmm. And if you have that realtor and you have the lender working together, you've got a strong team so that you can go about finding the place of Absolutely. your dreams. I mean, the realtor is the one who's going to negotiate for you. They're going to show you the homes and they're going to negotiate to get you the best price. So it's very important. And we're going to find you the right pot products. And, you know, maybe you look, you need a 15 year, maybe a 20, maybe a 30 year mortgage, maybe an adjustable rate mortgage would be perfect for you. We can help determine that for you. That's really great. And are these steps, you kind of gave us those five rules, are they for first time or repeat buyers or both? They're for every buyer. Um, maybe you've bought and sold many homes over the past years, but things have changed. The mortgage industry and the real, real estate industry has changed. You need to find out what the new rules are, what the new documentation are. This year we've had a ton of changes and we have more changes coming this January. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need to talk to a real estate agent 
and a mortgage loan officer, and you can call up many and talk to many of them at the Equitable Bank. Yeah. And just real quick, is now still a good time to buy a home? It is. It's a great time to buy a home because home prices are still reasonable and interest rates are still low. Yeah. Okay. It's a great combination. Yes. Right? Yeah. It sure is. Here's the information for the Equitable Bank. You can call them or call Pat at 414-777-4411, theequitablebank.com, to speak with someone today. Thanks so much for being here, Pat. Thank nice you. Nice to see you.